Hi, this is William Lam. In this video, I'll quickly show you how to get started using the vCloud SDK for .NET. Go ahead and extract the concept of the SDK. Within the directory, you'll find a readme file that has instructions on the DLLs required. This will depend on the version of vCloud director you're using, whether this is 1.0 or 1.5. In addition, you also need to install an HTTP client library that's provided by Microsoft. Within the readme file, we'll have a URL that links to the installer. Once you've installed the library, we'll need to extract two DLLs. And here's the path that we'll extract the DLLs from. Go ahead and copy the HTTP and HTTP extensions, and we'll copy that into the samples directory. The SDK was created using Visual Studio 2008. In this example, we're going to be using Visual Studio 2010. You can use either or, but if you use 2010, we'll need to go through a conversion process. Within the samples directory, you'll find a file called samples. Go in and double click on that. We'll be taken to the conversion wizard. Go in and click next. We have the option of backing up the files or we can just specify no. We'll go and just say no. Click next. Click finish to start the conversion process. If you happen to run a newer version of the .NET framework, you may see this message. Go ahead and retarget the project and select do not ask me again to start the conversion process. Once the process is completed, go in and click close. Now to verify that everything's set up correctly, we'll run one of the sample applications. Go ahead and look for the list all the apps applications. Go ahead and right click and we'll set this as our start project and then we'll also build the application. Okay, to execute the application, go ahead and go to the top of the menu and there's a play icon. Go ahead and press that. As you can see, this application requires three arguments, a vCloud URL, a username, and a password. Go ahead and insert the exit for now. If we go back onto the right side of the pane, we'll see that there's a property files. Go ahead and double click on that. Select the debug tab, and here we have the ability to specify the command line arguments. Here I have a vCloud URL. I'm logging as the administrator to the system organization, and here's the password. Now go ahead and we'll rerun the application. To rerun the application without the command prompt exiting, go in and hit Control F5 on your keyboard. Here you can see that we have two vApps within this vCloud instance. So there you have it. You're now ready to create vCloud applications using the vCloud SDK for .NET.